Hey everyone, how's it going? Hey stream, uh, chat, how are you? Um, welcome to a second round winner's bracket. This is going to be an exhibition match. Raynex unfortunately um, mixed up time zones yesterday and wasn't here. So he has uh, graciously, honorably agreed to uh, let Jeb move on. And Raynex will go to uh, loser's bracket and we'll see him again. So today is just going to be for fun. It's going to be an exhibition match. We're going to see if we can get some sub 10s. I have not changed the seeds uh, from yesterday um, in order to help them or hurt them in any way. So we'll see what they can do. But yeah, we should just have a, a for fun day, see if anyone could get any sub 10s. And with me in the booth is Ready Ben. Hello. Hi. Uh, and first up, uh, yesterday, our first contestant, Jeb. Hello. Hello, hello. And going up against, of course, Rainix. Hi. Yo. <laughs> With the close up, nice. And uh, yeah, they know the rules. With that, uh, we will just start the match. Let me make sure this is working. And yeah, if you guys are ready, you can begin in <laughs> three, two, one, go. Good luck. All right, so we got a village seed, see, wait. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Close to a swamp and the lava pool <clears throat> on the surface. Mm -hmm. Pretty, uh, pretty nice, classic kind of overworld, classic spawn, village into a lava pool. There isn't much uh, fancy though, so they're gonna have to figure out um, if they need extra iron from the overworld or potentially just get a iron golden kill and get iron somewhere else in the nether, maybe at the bastion, maybe at a fortress. Uh, their oh. options in the nether should just be kind of an open treasure bastion or a more buried housing bastion. I think there's one um kind of fortress that's actually very close to spawn so and it's also a bit buried so depending on which side of the fortress they spawn on they could do fortress first very um, nice. yeah and i also saw six four nine blaze rods kind of nice and if they uh need five maybe maybe that's a five for eight or something all mm. right we are off um seed one rainx versus jeb jeb already moving on uh, we see here Jeb getting a faster enter. I'm not sure what he decided to skip out on. Uh, looks like the iron because Rainex is getting some more wood and then heading. I don't think either of them got extra iron. Rainex just getting a little bit more wood and having a slower uh, world. Get that cobblestone generator and Rainex. Unfortunately, we do not standardize the iron golem drops. Uh, so between three and five iron will drop just like RSG. Rainix got three iron and he's gonna have to wood light. This is what you have to do in Minecraft sometimes. It's nice to have a backup plan. He could have easily scouted out extra iron, maybe a blast furnace or something from the village. Uh, <laughs> Rainix is just waiting. <laughs> no. Jeb got a little beat up by a piglin here. I think he doesn't have gold armor. He's do oh, Jeb is gonna die. Oh. Going for a gold armorless setup, trying to sneak into one of the chests, but the piglin sees him and chases him. And now Rainex is ahead. He's got a lit portal. Let's go. Four minute entry. Let's go. There we yeah, go. Yeah, pretty close. Pretty close spawner here. Spawner there. I'd like to see yeah, Fortress first. Place. On a side. Not using a shield, but he should be fine. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he gets two rods. Blaze bed? Yes, do it. Do it. You're not scared. You're going for the sub 10. Yes, do the blaze bed. Nice. You absolutely love to see it. He Very only nice. needs a couple waves. He doesn't know this, but he only needs uh, seven or eight blazes because we already saw the raids from Jeb. So seven or eight, and that's it. And he's out. Blaze spinning that thing. Hey, ooh, having a little bit of problem now. It was uh, spawn of four. Oh! And he's... Dead. <laughs> Blaze destroyed him, dude. <laughs> he tried to juke him. <laughs> He's going back and forth. That Blaze is like, nah, 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 nah. I got you, dude. I got you in my sights. He could have eaten to heal up a little bit and then poke his head out, but uh, going straight for it. Yeah, he's going to try to get his stuff back. Going straight in now. I mean, he does spawn in the fortress, so he can run straight to it. And he, he? <laughs> is running around. He, he gets hunted by those piglins <laughs> and he's dead again. No. Oh my god. This is rough. 
I mean, he truly got to the advancement into fire, we could say. Um, <laughs> and he's dead again! <laughs> <laughs> is he gonna reset this one too, or is he gonna go back? He was on hard. He was on hard. He forgot to swing. No <laughs> <laughs> he forgot to switch. Rookie mistake. I mean, Rainix has been not playing Minecraft for a couple weeks. Oh, look at that face going. of Rainix. Like he's so sad. We can see in his face. <laughs> he, uh. he cannot believe his mistake. Now he's back to that blaze spawner. He doesn't reset it, he gets shot BD again. More blazes spawn! <laughs> Is he gonna die a third time? And he dies again! No way! <laughs> okay, Jeb did not get three iron, so he will have four iron. So, uh, my question to you, chat, is... If Jeb looks like he's having a terrible time at the 10 minute mark, maybe Jeb dies again or something, uh, do we stop them? Or do we let them keep dying and being frustrated? Because... Really, the only thing this match matters for is sub tens. Uh, the tournament ranking is already decided. No, you want to see him keep dying? Oh, chat, you're so he mean. No, he falls into lava. <laughs> no way. He wanted to speed bridge and placed one block wrongly, and now he's dead again. He loses everything. <sighs> <laughs> Oh, he's pearl hanging. Okay, pearl hanging across from lower treasure here, and then he's gonna go up to the bastion. Pearling into a lava lake with no fire res yet, though. I mean, he did it correctly, but that's a little. <gasps> he gets a ghost. There's a ghost! Right. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, he's shaking his head. Wait, right next. Tell me you know another iron source. Tell me you planned this out and you have another iron source. He has two iron right now. What? what is he doing? He needs an iron trade. He needs an iron trade. He didn't... He was hoping on four iron from the golem and a wood light? <laughs> he needs an iron trade. No way. Bro, please, oh. please tell me. You you had 10 minutes to scout the seed and you figured out a way to get three iron. <laughs> he doesn't right. have it. He doesn't have it. He can't do the run. <laughs> He's gonna have to check the lower treasure chest. I <laughs> have to bring him back. They're they died like three times. Jim is smelting iron. No. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the booth. Um, neither of you have finished, but you're both <laughs> in the same position. <laughs> Would you like what? to just stop running this seed? Is my question. Yes, yeah. please. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is the worst 20 minutes of my life. 15 minutes of my life. All right. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back from that uh, incredible first match. It's going to be tough to top, but we are here for seed number two. Uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and play all three seeds today because I stopped them early on seed one. So that's fair enough. It's just uh, sub 10, you know, for funsies. So. Um, we will see if we can get a good run this time, and without further ado, uh, you guys can begin in three, two, one, go. Good luck. I didn't want to change him. Me. Didn't want to change him. See a Savannah in this one. <clears throat> and TT, let's go! <laughs> Ready, man. Very excited for the TT. Could do some shipwreck stuff. Uh, the only, the only things I mentioned that were close by were that low iron buried treasure, Village, Ruined Portal. Um, Jeb on the other side, I think he found some a lava pool and he is now in the Netherlands and uh, <coughs> Bridge Bastion. Um, yeah. Close to Fortress in a Soul Sand Valley. Uh, this nether is a little tough, but potentially really fast. So I think the overworld stuff is kind of far apart, but this nether can be really fast. There's kind of a buried bridge bastion, which is pretty bad and ugly. So I would not think that they would go for the bridge bastion, but depending on stronghold location, proximity, they might have to go for it. There is a very open double, triple top stables, which we know runners really like, and it's fairly close to uh, the fortress as well. The runners will start in three, two, one. And there we go, the second match of the day, Jeb versus Rainix. The ocean has very low iron in this one, it's really sad, but yeah, Rainix going for wood axe, he's going for ocean. I think Jeb might just be doing a structuralist, 
kind of dig down idea here. And C is gonna enter here probably. There's some, some more iron. Oh no, I see the play. He's gonna get iron there. Let's do a water bucket. I'll we'll get mm. a water bucket and then enter the nether. Very nice. Didn't okay. I, didn't think about that. And Jeb on the other side, he is uh, gonna go to a lava pool. Um, they enter very similar. Jeb entering a little bit earlier, <coughs> but Rainix should be in the in the Netherlands very soon. And there we go, Rainix pillaring up to the fortress. Is he going to get redemption? Is he gonna do the fortress without dying this time? Oh, are we gonna see more? Yep. Every single time <laughs> Jeb is bridged in this tournament so far, every single time he is speed bridged. Oh, you love to see it. <laughs> no, Rain, no, dude. <laughs> Oh no. Ooh, getting hit by a couple skeletons there. He's got a wither in the path. He's got a juke it in this four way. <gasps> no shot. Oh no. no. no what shot. a chat move. That was insane. No way he, he survived. Live? What? Does he actually live? That was two skeletons and like oh, four withers. No, there are more smups. Okay, he wow. He's alive. Oh, yo. And getting a really fast double triple. And here he is at the spawner at eight minutes. So actually really great play from Jeb here. And I think a, a really smart nether path. Because now he's going to have fire res and uh, plenty of stuff. Yeah, is, is he going to do blaze bed too? I believe so. And I think I saw um, Jeb pearl hanging. And we see Jeb, he crafted a golden pickaxe to go get through that uh, nether wall and he's doing his portal right now. He will be entering the the end very soon. Um, that might be his um, scouted courts. And uh, Jeb is pillaring back up, ready man. Oh no. Uh oh. You know what that means. Uh oh, does he know the <laughs> courts? Is Rainix done with the Bastion already? I think so. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Jeb got oh the... Oh, no. I think Jeb completely missed the travel. We've seen this before. Um, he's opening a three again, looking what his eye is, and there we go. Okay. He is in the stronghold while Rainix recovered from the death, and he is blinding now. Adds uh, 13 minutes, 49 he hits it. in front He's of the winning. spawner. No shot. Radix is winning with the death now. And we see a probe in the nice. center. Rainex actually... Oh, no! And Jeff finds the portal room. And Rainex misses the first bed. All right. So, Jeb found the portal room. He did a hunger reset because he was out of food and he's in the end now so both runners have a chance if one of these runners can get the one cycle and jeb gets the perch first can he make it in time it looks like he's gonna be good can he do the one anchor three bed show off for the crowd the damage is too low and jeb isn't gonna be able to do this Oh, this Maybe? is uh, this is tough. No, there was one HP left. <laughs> Anymore, so we'll see if Rainex could do it. Redemption arc for Rainex. Dying in the fortress, coming back, doing a successful fortress. Can he get the one cycle this time? He has three beds. That first bed was bad. That 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 was that was bad. That and. We see a second seed that is not going to be finishable. All right. Welcome back, everyone, for seed three of Jeb versus Rainex. Uh, so far, rough go for everybody, but we're having a great time in the booth and in the chat, right? Um, so this seed is unfortunately not going to be much better. The runners are going to struggle with this one, and we're going to love enjoying watching their struggle. So with that... Um, I hope you guys have fun with this one, and you can begin the scouting in three, two, one, go. Good luck. This is everyone's favorite. It's a desert mesa seed. There is no Let's wood go. for miles, ready, man. <laughs> There's no wood anywhere, dude. You <laughs> do, are so Do you see evil. any trees? So I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you get no trees. You have to use your brain for this one. 
we do see a little bit of a desert temple action. We see a little bit of a ruined portal action. And in a Badland seed, there's no trees, but there are definitely mine shafts. Um, it sucks to have to get your wood from mine shafts, but in Badlands and mesas, there are exposed mine shafts. As uh, we see him check out this desert temple and ruined portal, and we'll see if they go for the five head play and just try to make the entire desert mesa work, or if they take the long, long, long trek far away to get trees. Uh, all of these mesa seeds look unplayable from the start, obviously, because they're mesa, but we seed pick them in a specific way so that they should be playable. This desert temple has TNT and three diamonds, and so you can very easily TNT the bottom of the temple to get stone. You can TNT your way into a mine shaft. You could actually TNT the mine shaft itself and imagine t using one TNT on a mine shaft with the pressure plate you get there, you get all six planks that you need to start your initial crafting table and tools and then get the rest of your tools. You could have a diamond pick, stone axe, stone shovel real quick with that desert temple plus mine shaft, honestly. And as the runners get in the nether here, there is a very close, nice housing bastion, which the number one bastion you like to see in SRG, in my opinion, uh, very fast, very reliable every single time. Two routes, one from the top and one from the bottom, so you have easy entry points. You can do it with without gold armor, with and without iron, so very nice to see the housing bastion. And unfortunately, the fortress is a bit far away, but um, you know, with pearls, maybe some cooked pork from this crimson, they should be able to pearl to it a few times. So I very much expect them to do the housing right off the bat. That's kind of the one saving grace of the seed. Man, I really, you know, I, I wasn't sure exactly how to play the seed, but now we see time is up. Here we go. How are the runners going to use their heads in this one? I'm going to say the play that I think is optimal now that I've seen the seed in its entirety. Desert Temple, get your three diamonds, blow up for stone, go straight to the exposed mine shaft, probably hit up this rune portal first, and then use one TNT in the middle of all that mine shaft. You get 16 planks or something. Find lawful, you're done. you're in, you're in. Two thirty enter. Yeah, and uh, oh, we see both runners. Uh oh, oh, that's so many creepers. Oh, why are there so many creepers in this temple? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be fine. That's a four. Use a creeper as well. Creeper, dude. <laughs> oh my god, they're okay. They're totally fine, taking a little bit of damage, but no big deal. And they will get the TNT. Wait, Renix? <laughs> Renix wants to wait. Okay. It's oh, oh, that's right. how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead again. Yes, reset. Uh... Reset, reset, reset. We take those. We take those. We take those. Reset, reset, reset. reset, reset, reset. reset. It's okay. No one saw it. No one saw it. I sure I hope there are no creepers. Wait, why go. are there just. Oh, it's a skeleton this time! No! <laughs> no, it's even worse! Oh, the flint and steel! Wait, that's so smart! Yo, get him. Get him, crit him, dude. Crit him with the flint and steel. <laughs> that's even worse than a creeper. Oh my god, he's getting destroyed by the skeleton. He gets him. It's not enough health. If he jumps down, he's gonna die, I guess. He can do sand. He has to sand clutch halfway. Three and a half. And he dead. He's dead. <laughs> No, 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 no. As we see, Jeb is done going to Savannah. He's going to a lava pool. Not getting a clean, I think is possible to get a 230 enter on this seed, but getting a sub four enter here. He does have some food. Um, I saw him chopping trees with a gold axe instead of using TNT, which I'm not a huge fan of, but hey, he should have plenty of food and wood now, so he's good to go. All right. All right here we go. Nice. Raynex not using the TNT to blow up the mine shaft, Sag. Okay, head it off. And uh, <laughs> Jeb, we see at the top of the housing bastion pretty quickly in the seat. And I wonder what he's gonna do first. Maybe he's gonna go to the fortress. He's gonna do fortress first again. No way! After <laughs> dying the two previous seats against the blazes, he decides to Fight the blazes with two hearts and no fire is. 
What a Chad move. The Bastion and the Fortress were equal distance for him this time. He says, nah, you know what? Forget about my personal feelings. I'm a selfless speedrunner. I want the crowd to be entertained, and he's going Fortress first again. If you fail once, try, try again until you succeed. Man, inspirational. Inspirational message from Rainex coming out here. But uh, yeah, he should speed up because Jeb, look at him. He's in the, on the fortress mm -hmm. as well. He already finished his Bastion split, I believe, and he's fighting the Blazers. Yeah, he's to make up a lot of ground. It doesn't look like the Blaze Rod rates are that quick on this one. And Jeb has the opportunity. Oh, he's doing TNT spawner. Let's go. Nice. Double TNT on the spawner. Clears out the majority of it. Rainix finished the fortress. He showed everyone that he doesn't need Fire S to fight the Blazes. He survived that split and is now on his way to the Bastion. But uh, Jeb, who is clearly the superior runner because he knows how to use TNT, is now <laughs> going to the Stronghold. Jeb over uh, Lava here. There's only a couple blocks beneath him here. He can't afford to go too far down and fall in the lava. So he does need a portal out here. And he isn't quite in the portal room, but this time, did he write down his chords? He must have this time. Jeb is entering the end at 12 minutes. Does he have more than one anchor, three bed this time? It looks like he is. He's not setting up anchors. There's actually a purge for Jeb right now. He must place it now. He's got to get the four bed under pressure. Everyone's watching. It's been a tough several matches. And he gets it! Go. Let's go! Jeb takes it! Jeb wins. He is moving go. on already, but now it's fully deserved. Jeb will move on and play either Automat or um, Feinberg in the next match. Congrats to him.